Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and like a lot of you out there probably, I have been watching Bogglebots. I've been watching a lot of Bogglebots. I've actually been re-watching some of this season. Uh, there's just some really great fights in there and there is some really great driving on display in some of these fights as well. And that's kind of made me realize that I want to improve my own driving. I don't feel I did terribly at Bogglebots. I just feel like there are people at Bogglebots who can drive a lot better than I can. Uh, so I want to do what I can to improve my own driving. And any, like anything, uh, driving is a practice thing. I need some way to practice my driving. So in this video, I want to build a speed wedge. I want to build a mini thunder child, essentially, uh, that I can use to practice my driving, get better at that whole side of things. Uh, the more uh, speedy and uncontrollable the speed wedge is, the better in this case, because it will help me uh, improve my driving. With fast and uncontrollable in mind, my first thought was these tiny little brushless motors that I actually got to put in the saw bot to run the saws, but then uh, decided to upgrade them when everything actually came in. I just bought a bunch of different motors to try, and uh, these ones were just too small. So the thought was to do a four wheel drive wedge with this guy in the middle, and then some form of like plasticky gearing setup, I think. So something like that, out to some wheels, and that would be, uh, that would be it. But what I need to do is actually print up some form of mounting plate for this because this thing uses M1.4 screws, which are A, ridiculously tiny, and B, a weird size. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna try and clamp it in some form of plastic case that allows the motor to spin. But while the printer was going, I was cleaning off the junk desk in my workshop. Everyone has one of these. And I stumbled upon this. And then I had a crazy idea and went over to weigh it. We're going YOLO drive. But what is YOLO drive? Have you ever just stared at a pile of brushed gear motors and wondered which one was the best for lightness and strength for whatever robot you were building? But choosing one is too hard, so let's just do away with the whole concept of gearboxes altogether and say YOLO and slap a wheel directly onto a brushless motor. Da -na -na -na. But this can be tricky because ESCs don't particularly like trying to drive brushless motors like this at a slow speed. So you either need a big motor like this one, which is just too big for the weight class, or you need sensors if you want to go proper professional brushless style like gear down for what from BattleBots. Now that thing can really drive and it's all to do with the fact that the ESC has sensors on the back of the motor to be able to determine where the motor is and therefore run it at really slow speeds. So that's how they get away with that. So let's grab a chassis, a pair of YOLO drives, sprinkle in some nuts and bolts and get this all together.
cool, that's looking good. Now I just need to sprinkle in some electronics. So obviously the electronics works not the best that I've ever done, but I've got a solution to that. Tape. <laughs> uh, yeah, because this is literally just now a test bed. I am pretty much sure I'm not even going to run this in a competition, at least not in this form. It will have some form of wedge and stuff on the front of it, but for now I just want to test this drive system out and see if it'll actually even do a bit of a drive. Uh, and once we've done that, we can work on it further, but probably not in this video because I actually need to sit down and edit this thing together. So uh, let's just jam a little bit and wrap in tape. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's, uh, well, now we need to work out if it actually moves correctly and spins the wheels the right way. So up on blocks. This is probably going to be terrifying. Okay. Test time. Let's throw the switch. Oh, hold the tape back down and uh, here goes nothing. Uh, and it literally is nothing. Okay, well that's interesting. Okay, so fix the minor issue with the electronics and it's time to work out how fast this thing is. And I think it's going to be crazy, crazy fast. As long as it will drive, it should be just insanely quick. So let's try just a small amount forward on the throttle. Whoa. Okay, we're going to need a different camera angle for this, for sure. Because it is insanity. Man, this thing is fast. It is insanely quick. Uh, yeah, so much so that it's actually quite difficult to turn the thing. Uh, and yeah, it just it just keeps building speed. Like I'm driving it all the way across my kitchen, which is like over beta weight arena size, and it is still picking up speed as it hits the other side of the kitchen. Which that's that's probably too much speed, I would say. Uh, so this has been an interesting little experiment. I was thinking that I was going to push ahead from this point, uh, change the body to be TPU, put a wedge on the front of the thing. Uh, however, with everything that's gone on, I think what I might do is rejig this to have some level of gearing involved if I can get the weight in the thing to do that. Uh, it was quite close on weight as it was. Um, yeah, so if I can get some gearing in, I will because it is, I think, think just a little bit too fast at the moment. Uh, so having a little bit of pushing power might help it, uh, but it certainly is going to uh, work towards that goal of having something just crazy fast that I can try and work on my driving skills with. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I was gonna do uh, an upgrade to that right now, but uh, it's getting late and I really do need to actually edit this video as well so that you guys can watch it this week. Um, yeah, so that is probably going to be where we end this one. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I did put out a question in the community tab this week where I asked you guys if you wanted to see raw fights and I just wanted to kind of clarify that and re-ask the question at the end of the video for those people who watch all the way through these things. Uh, if I put out raw fights similar to what Robert Cohen is doing, so I've still got the fight recap videos, but then also putting out raw fights kind of maybe on a Thursday or something. Do you guys think you would want to watch that? Uh, if so, you know, let me know in the comments. If not, let me know in the comments as well. 
it'd be good to get your thoughts and feedback on all of that. I would probably, like I said, do them Robert Cohen style, so edit them all together. So one robot's flights for an entire event, just edit a whole bunch of them and it would just be one big video that's, you know, 20 minutes or so that's literally just back-to-back -back flights or, you know, however long it is once I've back-to-backed all the flights, that would just be the length of the video that goes up. Um, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, that is going to be it for now because like I said, I need to get this thing edited and out to you guys. So hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.